Welcome to the Everything Podcast. In this episode, I'll be reviewing the Neighbours episode released on the 15th of July 2024. But before I get to that and the cast list and everything normal, I think the episode that releases either this episode or the next episode will be um, the first anniversary of daily episodes. So thank you for watching all of, or uh, one, or all, or somewhere in the middle of the daily episodes. It's been really nice doing them and conti- well, we could be continuing to do them instead of it being how it was for the past the year before where it was just, um, yes, episodes when I could, when it wasn't even that, it was like monthly or every other week, I think. So it's nice to do it pretty consistently. But back to this episode where, as I mentioned, I'll be reviewing the names episode released on the 15th of July 2024. But before I get there, here's the cast list. We have Sarah West as Cara Varga Murphy, Naomi Rukavina as Remy Varga Murphy, Marley Williams as Dex Varga Murphy, Riley Bryant as JJ Varga Murphy, Lloyd Will as Andrew Rodwell, Candice Leask as Wendy Rodwell, Georgie Stone as Mackenzie Hargraves, Emerald Chan as Sadie Rodwell, Lucinda Armstrong Hall as Holly Hoyland, Magella Davis as Krista Sinclair, Xavier Molyneux as Byron Stone, um, Shiv Palka as Hez Devkart, Stefan Dennis as Paul Robinson, Tim Carno as Leo Tanaka, Lucinda Calden as Melanie Pearson, Ian Smith as Harold Bishop, Hannah Monson as Nicolette Stone, Annie Jones as Jane Harris, Matt Wilson as Aaron Brennan, Henrietta Graham as Sam Young, Alan Fletcher as Carl Kennedy, Jackie Woodburn as Susan Kennedy, Aisha Salam Towner as Now Rebecca, Rebecca Almaloglu as Therese Willis, and Ryan Maloney as Toadie Rebecca. The writer of this episode was Joe Santok. The director was Ian Pirrett. Um, here is the synopsis. Jane and Mike receive a life-changing... No, that's wrong. Let me start again. Jane and Mike reach a life-changing decision. Uh, Byron fights for his dream and Toadie is troubled by reminders of this past. And as I mentioned, this episode was released on the 15th of July 2024. My opinion on this episode is I love the scenes between Jane, and Nicolette and Byron. I like the mentions of Sonia, Dee, Charlene and Scott. I enjoyed seeing more of Mike. Uh, and it seems that it could be the last time we see Mike for, uh, for a while and it will come, become clear. But without further ado, here's my review of the Names episode released on the 15th of July 2024. We have the previous recap and the title sequence. Toadie continues to help Kara with the fallen scene situation. Tony hears a song that traumatises him to the point that he turns to speak off. Byron double, double checks with Jane that her breaking up with Mike is the right decision for them both. Um, Kiri remains frosty with Nicolette following their breakup and their conversation at the vineyard. Nicolette attempts to explain herself to Kiri. Kiri doesn't want to know anymore. Leo overhears Nicolette and Kiri's conversation. Carr and Remy discuss the multiple references uh, that have been written for JJ as a potential way for him to re-enroll at Erinsborough High. Tony becomes dizzy and asks Remy and Kara uh, if it is okay if he rests. Remy gives Tony some post. Carl checks in with Tony. The song that Tony turned off was one of the songs that was playing on the day that Sonia died. Tony has received a postcard from Dee. Tony informs Carl of these events. Toad reveals he's confused with his current emotions. Nicola interrupts Kara and Remy, visiting Kara to ask about Byron's whereabouts. Um, Kiri helps as much as she can. Kara comments on the tension between Kiri and Nicolette. Kiri explains her situation with Nicolette to Remy and Kara. Uh, 
Kiri receives a message from Leo regarding the vineyard. Um, Nicolette discusses uh, Kiri hanging out with Cara and Romy to Haz and Krista. Byron insults Nicolette's social life. Krista and Haz give Nicolette and Byron some space to talk. Uh, Byron suggests reasons why Nicolette doesn't have many friends. Nicolette defends herself. Byron informs Nicolette of Jane's desire to end a relationship with Mike. Byron asks Nicolette to be there for Jane. Nicolette questions what will happen to Sam if uh, Mike and Jane do break up. To Toadie explains the reasons why he believes it's best not to tell to raise about memories regarding Sonia and Dee. Toadie makes himself believe that the memories concerning Dee and Sonia are not connected in any way. Carl believes that Toadie should inform Therese of his memories. Byron, Nicolette and Jane discuss Sam. Sam is on her way to work. Leo checks in with Kiri regarding her business partnership with Nicolette and Byron. Leo informs Kiri of another potential business partner. Kiri reminds Leo that the Eurocobi business partners have to be chosen by him. Uh, Toadie shows Therese Dee's postcard. Therese suggests that Toadie should write back to Dee for Hugo's benefit. Toadie also mentions Andrea. Toadie accepts Therese's request for a takeaway. Therese checks in with Toadie. Jane calls Mike. Mike tells Jane about his work trip. Jane and Mike both think they should break up. Uh, Leo tells Byron and Nicolette about the new potential partner. Mike tells Jane about someone he met whilst on his work road trip. Uh, Mike apologises to Jane. Jane tells Mike about Vic kissing her as well as her losing her engagement ring. Mike mentions throwing away the engagement ring in a lake before proposing to Jane. Jane reveals her connection to Sam. Mike and Jane reminisce about the reunion and relationship. Jane promises that Mike will always be part of her life. Mike repeats this sentiment. Leo no longer wants Nicolette and Byron as business partners. Leo has instead chosen another business partner alongside Kiri. Nicolette believes that Kiri isn't being honest with herself about wanting to work with her and Byron. Mike calls Sam. Mike tells Sam about Jane wanting Sam to stay in Erinsborough if she wishes. Uh, Sam asks Mike about his feelings towards Angela. Sam and Jane discuss their calls with Mike with each other. Sam expresses her love for Jane. Jane tells Therese and Susan about her breakup with Mike. Jane is going to Queensland to visit Scott and Charlene. Byron speaks to Leo's new business partner and cancels Leo's scheduled meeting with him. Uh, Krista catches Byron do this. The episode finishes off with a Next Time trailer. But next time on the Everything Podcast, which I haven't written, which is particularly helpful, will be the... Ah, there we are. The Nebs episode released on the 16th of next episode, on the 16th of July, 2024. Here's the trailer. Coming up on Neighbours. Dad just flew in. Bitch. My ex-husband is in town. So why is he here? What does he want? Can't skip all the big stuff and then roll in here and act like a father. You must be Haz's sister. Thanks for holding the fort, but I'll take it from here. Oh, I'm so sorry. You in a mirror. I don't get what's wrong. What did I do? But you're not my boyfriend anymore. Fine by me. Oh, I mean, oh. Bella. Uh, uh, this is Logan. Logan, this is Aaron. Aaron. Aaron was married to David. Oh, Melanie has told me all about him. I can't even imagine what you've been through after you lost your partner. You want to make sure you make a good first impression. Aren't you getting in trouble for teaching school? Your son is the bad influence here. Your coffee's on fire. I had to think the residents of Irene Rising will be the very first to try it tomorrow. There's been another poisoning. Welcome to the official opening of Irene Rising. Chin chin. What does that taste? Help! Help! That was the most recent tra- trailer for Neighbours, which was released in May. Um, but yes, it's the, the most recent one, so it's the most relevant. Um, but yes, so, as I'm, so I'll be doing another uh, Neighbours review in the next episode. But back to this episode, let me know what you thought about the Neighbours episode released on the 15th of July 2024. If you watched it, my review didn't, you can put your thoughts on both of those in the comments below. As well with anything else, you want me to come a chance for your review suggestion for your favourite TV show or movie. Because we've had a couple, or I've had a couple in so far. Uh, such as House of the Dragon, The Boys, Fallout, um, Hitman and Argyle as well which hopefully I will be continuing to write soon. Um, Obviously, I want to get the new stuff out as quickly as possible and we'll do your reviews when I can. Um, So, uh, yes, uh, review suggestions, yes, TV show. I interrupt my outro every time. Um, A book, I'm happy to do book reviews, comics, 
As well, I will be covering the Avengers Forever comic series because I was asked to review some 1990s Marvel comics. Um, and uh, yes, you will some news about your favourite TV show movie. And as I continue to mention, which I think when this episode is released, uh, San Diego Comic Con will have finished. Uh, but yeah, uh, all the news from San Diego Comic Con at D23 2024. Um, so uh, yes, uh, yeah, anything. Else. I remember you can also li- put your thoughts on all of those in the comments below as well. And remember you can also like, comment and subscribe. And that's it for this episode of the Everything Podcast. Goodbye.